Raider Nation, what's going on? This is the Raiders Report, and I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. Today's show is brought to you by BetDSI, the number one sports book on the internet. I have news, rumors, some Raider Nation rumors, the three biggest needs for the Raiders this season, and a Week 10 matchup, so stay tuned. First news bit I have for you on tap, Bruce Irvin. He's headed to the Atlanta Falcons, back to his hometown. He was released on Friday, and he signed with the Falcons on Monday. Bruce totally gave up on the, Ra on the Raiders, which is why he was ultimately cut. He was scheduled to make $9 million in 2019, which is also a reason why he was let go. Maybe he can have a better future with the Falcons, but this is what now the Raiders are left with at the defensive line. And there's a lot of pieces here that don't have a lot of experience. Artie Key's going to move up now in Bruce Irvin's spot. He was underneath Bruce Irvin's wing the entire offseason. Now we maybe we can see if Arden Key can live up to the hype that he had coming into the draft. Raider Nation, I want to say thank you so much for watching the Raiders Report. And if you want to watch exclusive videos that only true Raider fans can see, you're going to subscribe down below to youtube.com slash Raiders Report. And hey, you can even join the show too if you subscribe below. Next news bit coming up, the Raiders, they signed Coney Ely. He was signed on Monday. And a former second round pick, 60th overall of the Carolina Panthers in the 2014 NFL Draft. Ely now enters his fifth year in the league after making stops with the Panthers and the New York Jets. The defensive end has appeared in 62 games over his career with the two clubs, making 19 starts, racking up 90 tackles, 15 sacks, two picks, six forced fumbles, and two fumble recoveries. Ely's at least going to be able to add a little bit more depth. He's a player where if he can maybe live up to his hype, he can just add another body, which the Raiders at this point, they just need as many bodies as possible. The next news thing coming up here is maybe my favorite one that I've done since I've started this show, and it's Jamarcus Russell watched blank tapes. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, coaches used to send Jamarcus Russell tapes to see if he would actually watch the plays. And he would say, yeah, coach, I saw the blitz pickups. I saw all of it. But they used to just send them blank tapes with nothing on it. I was dying when I heard this. I think we can all agree that Jamarcus probably is one of the biggest busts in the NFL, definitely for the Raiders. But he was the first overall pick in the 27 or the 2007 NFL Draft. But Raider Nation, guess what? I actually have the exclusive tapes of Jamarcus Russell that he was given. So if I could please bring those up here, you guys can see them as well. Here are the actual tapes. You can see right here the blitz packages. Jamarcus picks it up perfectly here, and you can see that he just handles this one perfect and makes a completed pass, right? Wrong. Wrong. There's a reason why Jamarcus was so bad in his career, because the dude didn't even watch tape, and he wasn't that talented. Here are his career stats. A 52% completion percentage. Gross. 4,083 yards. That's not good in three seasons of work. 18 touchdowns and 45 turnovers. Wow. <laughs> Jamarcus Russell, maybe you should have watched some tape. Heck, maybe he's watching dieting videos now because I think he's over 300, but who knows? All right, Raider Nation, I want to know from you, is Jamarcus Russell the biggest Raiders bust of all time? I want you to type Y for yes or type N for no. For me, I'm typing in that Y yes when you just look at the money he was guaranteed plus the, his production, plus that's also when the Raiders, I think, kind of went super downhill. So, is Jamarcus the biggest Raiders bust of all time? For me, I'm saying yes. I want to say a shout out to everybody watching the show. Please follow me on Twitter at MitchellRenz365. And heck, if you want to check me out on Instagram or if you want to Venmo me, same thing, at MitchellRenz365. 